Hello, so this is Kiatrix talking and I wanted to do an extra video about uh, variables in Construct2. Uh, we've been talking a bit about it but I felt like in the second session we just went a bit fast on the subject and uh, I wanted to get back on it and hopefully show you a few tricks hopefully interesting. Um, variables are quite uh, an important uh, aspect of programming and using construct. So in construct2 you have several types of variables and we will first start with what a variable is. It is a bit of memory in the computer's memory which is reserved a bit like a table at the restaurant if you want. Um, you don't know yet what it will be used for but the um, space in memory is used, excuse me. And it will allow you to store some values in it that you will be able to use then in expressions in uh, several aspects of your he event sheet and for the to start it will be better to just show you and we will be starting with global variables which can be either a number or a text which you can create in an event sheet so you right click add a global variable you name it the way you want so I'll just name it my var to start and keep it a number for now. You can add a description. The description you will only have for you in the event sheet. It will have no other impact on the program you are making. So for example, my first variable as a description. You can see there is a, a small checkbox there constant. I will come back on it later. So here I have my global uh, variable which is called my var and you see my first variable it's uh, the description it's pretty useful uh, when you are programming because uh, let's say I will add an event um, for now it's very not very useful I'll probably m better make a text object so that I can display at runtime what is the content of my variable and I will make an event on start of layout so it will happen as soon as I execute so on start of layout and I will want to sh change the text of my text and set it to the content and as you can see, the description I gave is also written here in the system, system expressions dialog. So my var done. And if I'm running, it's just showing the zero right there as soon as I start. So what is interesting is that the global variables are global to your, to your project. This means that if I'm making a new event sheet right there and making a new variable my var2, let's name it, and come back to the event sheet one and change right there, I have access to the second variable I've set in another event sheet and I have access to it all through my projects and I can display it. So to make sure it's not the same variable I will change the value there and again execute I have a 10 so it's my var2 which is displayed which is nice. Uh, you can also use global variables as text the difference is that global variables which are numbers will be used mostly to 
make some calculations and use in formulas or, or stuff like that whereas text will be actually uh, a string which is a different type of um, how would you say a different type of data structure uh, a number is not a text that is to say I could right there still uh, write zero for example but it wouldn't be considered as the number zero it would be considered as writing a character and the character is zero but it also means that as text I can just write something you can see it's in between quotes and if I come back there and just display the content of my var write something so for display it's nice uh, but it's not the most it can be it can be useful for example I could have a global variable which is name of player make it a text for now I don't need to store anything and as a description I will put some name of the player okay and for example in my layout I will be using a text box object I would be using a button and I will put another text object there I would change it and actually ask what is your name so the user would be entitled to put his name in the text box and thereafter I would put the text object right there for now I will put nothing here it is on start of layout I will just destroy this and I will add an event button on clicked and I'll set the text of the text to object to hello and add the content of name of player it's a simple example and how are you it's often often used example so what is your name cat okay oh it's not working interesting how come um, oh yeah of course I forgot to set the value of name of player to the value of text box text object it will work better put it first because if I as if I kept it like that I would assign the value name of player after I display it so I assign it first and display it later so here I go cat. hello cat how are you working better okay um, so yeah global variable it is often used like um, for tag for text or for numbers it's often used for score because this way you can keep the score of whatever your player is doing and pass it from a layout to another that's a great strength of the global variables you can pass its value and use it from a layout to another so let's keep it let's modify yet again our project I will remove that yes remove the text box yes and I will keep the button actually here it is better so right now I will use it layer layout one okay and I will duplicate to layout two layout 2 I will name layout 2 okay and in the event sheet cancel I will 
make sure to assign event sheet two to layout two. So what I want there, I have still my name of the player. So right now I will put a default value in here. On clicked, I will go to a new layout. I'll go to the layout two. And so despite the global variable being uh, set here, I will still be able to display it here in the second layout. So on start of layout, this is what I'm looking for. On start of layout, I will happen some text. So this means that it will add some text over the text that is already there. So I will have layout 2. And so my var, which I defined in the first layout and in the first event sheet. And yet again, name of player. I will also add there to make it a bit more obvious another button which I will rename to which I will label plus and when I want when I will click on plus I will want to add to my var one because my var is a numeric value so it was I will put it again this. So my var is a number and when I will be clicking the button 2 I will be adding 1 to the current value of my var and in event sheet 2 I will be displaying the result and the, the value of my var. So I go back to layout 1, click a several times, OK. So I've clicked 6 times so the value now is 6. It was defined in the previous layout, yet it is available in the layout 2. And also, as you can see, you can add uh, what we call concatenation. It's the fact of adding some fixed st string. And then the content of a variable and yet another fixed string and yet another content etc. Um, okay so there is uh, something that usually it, it was already told during the week two but it's always nice to say it again I guess. If you select a variable and then use control plus X it will cut the variable you will have this dialog which warns you that oh you are deleting a variable yes and also as you seen the action has disappeared but if I go into another event sheet I paste my variable so control plus V the action there was gone too it reappears as soon as as the variable is pasted and in the same way it has came back here too. So once again global variables are global to the whole project so you can even have an event sheet that is never used and yet uh, define all your global variables in it uh, even if it's the event sheet is not included or is not used by any layout the variable are still accessible. You can still access the variables. Also, the global variables. No. Oh, so it was interesting. See, I will uh, get back to it later. But the way I'm moving the variable here, make it that it uh, becomes a local variable. I will come back on this later and it has deleted the event, the action actually. And if I move it back as a global, the action comes back. So 
it's quite permissive actually it's not because the global variable is not there anymore that the 